Hey juicers, we all know this familiar tune, but no, it's not just for sporting events, it's our national anthem, or the Star Spangled Banner to be exact. And to find out how it came to be, we need to go all the way back to the War of 1812, when we were again fighting the British. More precisely though, the Battle of Baltimore, when British naval ships bombed Fort McHenry in Baltimore for over 24 hours straight. About a week before the battle, this American lawyer named Francis Scott Key actually boarded the flagship of the British fleet in hopes of persuading the British to release his friend who had recently been arrested, which just might make Mr. Key the greatest BFF in American history. And this worked! The British agreed to release his friend, but were afraid the two friends might give away secrets about the upcoming battle so they didn't actually let them leave until the battle was over. The two friends watched throughout the night as the British relentlessly bombarded Fort McHenry, and as they watched, Mr. Key wrote a poem based on what he was seeing. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Sound familiar? And when morning finally came, to Mr. Key's surprise, the American flag that had been flying over Fort McHenry was still standing tall and strong gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Let's just say Mr. Key's poem became pretty darn famous. It was printed in newspapers and eventually set to an old English drinking tune. And in 1916, President Woodrow Wilson announced that it should be played at all national events. And by 1931, the Star Spangled Banner was officially adopted as our national anthem. Over 100 years after a battle inspired a poem that inspired a nation. And that's the juice.